is up guys, EJ here, back with another video, and today it's going to be my Blu-ray DVD collection for 2020, and uh, the war section. So, up first, we have uh, 12 Strong from uh, 2018, yeah, I really like this film a lot, with uh, Chris Hemsworth, uh, set during uh, the war in uh, Afghanistan. Ugh. Up next, we have uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. A uh, great film from 1930, uh, directed by Lewis Milestone. Great uh, anti-war film set during World War One. Unfortunately, the uh, back is uh, coming apart here. Ugh. All right. Up next, we have uh, Allied from uh, 2016 with uh, Brad Pitt and uh, Marion Cotillard. Not great, but uh, I still enjoyed it. Like both those actors, obviously. Up next, we have Apocalypse Now. Um, uh, yeah, the complete dossier uh, from 1979, fantastic film, of course, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Um, yeah, Martin Sheen and Marlon Brando, uh, Robert Duvall, The Ride of the Valkyries, one of the all-time great Vietnam War films. Up next, we have Attack uh, from 1956 with uh, Jack Plants and uh, Eddie Albert. Um, good uh, World War II action movie. Up next we have uh, Baton uh, from 1943. Another good uh, World War II film. Up next we have uh, Battle of Britain. Uh, collector's edition from uh, 1969. All-star cast. Uh, people like uh, Michael Caine. Uh, Kurt Jurgens, uh, Lawrence Olivier. whole host of uh, others in that film. Up next, we have uh, Battle of the Bulge from 1965, fantastic movie with uh, Henry Fonda, Robert Shaw, Robert Ryan, and uh, Dana Andrews. Up next, we have uh, Battleground uh, from 1949, another uh, terrific uh, film about the uh, Battle of the Bulge. Up next, we have uh, The Big Red One uh, from 1980, two-disc uh, special edition. A fantastic movie with Lee Marvin and Mark Hamill, Robert Carradine, uh, Samuel Fuller directed this film. Up next, we have uh, Black Hawk Down, three-disc uh, deluxe edition. Fantastic uh, Ridley Scott film, of course, uh, from 2001. Um, yeah, I remember the night I saw this, uh, it was the uh, same night as the Raiders, uh, New England Patriots playoff game, uh, the Tuck game, um, back when this came out. Josh Hartnett, Ewan McGregor, fantastic cast, Eric Bana, uh, Black Hawk Down is a brilliant film. Up next, we have, uh, Das Boot, uh, the director's cut, great, uh, Wolfgang Peterson film, of course, from, uh, 1981. Up next, we have uh, The Bridge at Remagen uh, from uh, 1969. Up next, we have uh, The Bridge on the River Kwai, uh, two disc set, uh, collector's edition, fantastic film, of course, um, directed by David Lean from 1957. Alec Guinness, um, just perfect. Uh, Sesu uh, Hayakawa, great performance by him. Up next, we have uh, The Bridges at Toko Ri from uh, 1955 with uh, William Holden and Grace Kelly. Good uh, Korean War film. Up next, we have uh, A Bridge Too Far from uh, 1977, Collector's Edition, uh, two disc set. Great film about uh, Operation uh, Market Garden. Uh, All star cast. Again, people like Michael Caine, James Caan, Sean Connery. Uh, Edward Fox, Gene Hackman, Anthony Hopkins, Lawrence Olivier, uh, Robert Redford, to name a few. Up next, we have uh, The Kane Mutiny, uh, collector's edition. Uh, yeah, great film from 1954 with uh, Humphrey Bogart, Jose Ferrer, Van Johnson, Fred McMurray. Fantastic movie. Up next, we have uh, Casualties of War, extended cut from uh, 1989. Uh, Michael J. Fox and Sean Penn. Um, yeah, good film directed by uh, Brian De Palma. 
Up next we have uh, Catch 22. Um, yeah, good film uh, by Mike Nichols from 1970 uh, with uh, Alan Arkin, Art Garfunkel, uh, Anthony Perkins, Martin Sheen, uh, John Voight. Not my favorite war movie, but still decent. Up next we have uh, Cold Mountain, uh, collector's edition to this set, great uh, Civil War era film uh, from 2003 with uh, Jude Law, Nicole Kidman, Renee Zellweger and uh, uh, Oscar winning performance for Best Supporting Actress. Up next we have uh, Sam Peckinpah's uh, Cross of Iron, uh, widescreen special edition uh, from 1977, really good film with uh, James Kerber, uh, Coburn, uh, Maximilian Schell, James Mason. Up next we have uh, the Dawn Patrol uh, from 1938, um, another one of these Errol Flynn DVDs that I have. Uh, Basil Rathbone, uh, David Niven, uh, Donald Crisp. Up next we have uh, The Deer Hunter from 1978. Fantastic film uh, directed by Michael uh, Cimino. Um, yeah, Robert... Um, sorry. Yeah, Robert De Niro. Uh, Christopher Walken, fantastic. Uh, Mel Sweep, uh, John Savage, John Cazale. Again, one of the best... Uh, one of my favorite Vietnam War films. Uh, the Deer Hunter. Alright guys, moving on. Up next we have uh, Defiance uh, from 2008. Yeah, really good film with uh, Daniel Craig, uh, Liev Schreiber, uh, Jamie Bell. Pretty underrated. Up next we have uh, Destination Tokyo with uh, Cary Grant and John Garfield. Up next we have uh, The Dirty Dozen, two disc uh, special edition. Fantastic film from 1967 of course. Uh, with uh, Lee Marvin, Ernest Borgnine, Charles Bronson, Jim Brown, um, John Cassavetes, uh, George Kennedy, uh, Telly Savalas. Absolutely love uh, the Dirty Dozen. Up next, we have uh, Christopher Nolan's uh, Dunkirk uh, from 2017. Yeah, I really enjoyed this film. Uh, Tom Hardy, uh, Mark Rylance. Up next, we have uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, Empire of the Sun from uh, 1987, uh, early uh, performance by uh, Christian Bale in that one. Up next, we have uh, Enemy at the Gates from uh, 2001, really good uh, film about the uh, Battle of uh, Stalingrad uh, with uh, Joseph Fiennes, Jude Law, Rachel Weisz, uh, Ed Harris, terrific. Up next, we have uh, The Enemy Below uh, from 1957, I believe, with uh, Robert Mitchum and uh, Kurt Jurgens. Good uh, submarine World War II film. Up next, we have uh, this uh, two pack or, yeah, five disc uh, comm commemorative collector's edition of uh, Flags of Our Fa Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima, uh, both directed by Clint Eastwood. Uh, from 2006, two fantastic films. Letters from Iwo Jima is my favorite of the two, one of the best films of that year, in my opinion. Ken Watanabe, uh, just a fantastic performance by him. Um, two great films from about World War Two, and uh, and a stunning achievement in itself. What Eastwood <laughs> did that year with those two war movies. Up next, uh, another uh, World War. Or maybe this is a World War One film I'm remembering now from uh, 1996. Anyway, that's uh, Flyboys uh, Collector's Edition. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's not great, but uh, it's not too bad. Up next, we have uh, Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket uh, from 1987. Fantastic movie, of course. Um, one of the great Vietnam War films as well. Um, yeah, Arlie Ermey as the drill sergeant is just fantastic. Uh, Matthew Modine, uh, Adam Baldwin, Vincent D'Onofrio. Um, I like the first half of Full Metal Jacket more than the second half, but uh, still a great film overall. Up next we have uh, Fury on Blu-ray. Uh, really enjoyed this film, uh, starring Brad Pitt, um, John Bernthal, uh, Michael Pena. Um, yeah, really good film. 
uh, from uh, 2014. Liked it a lot. Okay, up next we have uh, Gallipoli from uh, 1981. Fantastic uh, Peter Weir film with uh, Mel Gibson. Uh, special uh, collector's edition. Up next we have uh, Gettysburg uh, from 1993 with uh, Tom Berenger, Jeff Daniels, uh, Martin Sheen. Not a huge fan of uh, Civil War films in general. Um, I only have, have a few in my collection. But that's one of them. And the other my favorite Civil War era film is uh, Glory uh, from 1989. Uh, fantastic film uh, with uh, Matthew Broderick, uh, Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington, uh, Carrie Elwes. Um, yeah, fantastic movie. Love the music as well from that. Okay, up next we have uh, The Great Escape, a uh, special edition to this uh, DVD collector set. Um, one of my all-time favorite films, period. Not just one of my favorite war movies. Steve McQueen, James Garner, Richard Amber, um, Charles Bronson, uh, Donald Pleasance, uh, James Coburn. Uh, everything about The Great Escape I love. Um, and I recently picked it up on the Criterion Collection uh, during the recent Barnes & Noble 50% uh, off sale. Up next we have uh, The Great Raid uh, from 2005, not bad from what I remember, uh, Benjamin Bratt, um, James Franco, um, yeah, pretty decent uh, World War II uh, escape from camp movie. Up next we have uh, The Guns of Navarone from uh, 1961, a uh, special edition, fantastic film with uh, Gregory Peck, uh, David Niven, uh, Anthony Quinn. And as far as sequels go, this is one of my personal favorites, um, Force 10 from Navarone, um, with uh, Robert Shaw and Harrison Ford, um, directed by Guy Hamilton, um, it's got Edward Fox in it, um, uh, Richard Keel, who played Jaws in uh, James Bond movies, um, Barbara Bach, also in James Bond films. There's a lot of James Bond crossover in Forest 10 from Navarone. Um, this film from uh, 1978, I've, I've seen it like probably a hundred times. It's a, it's a film I can put on and go to sleep to, as weird as that sounds, but that's one of them. Up next we have uh, Hacksaw Ridge uh, from 2016. A fantastic film, one of my favorites of that year. Um, yeah, directed by uh, Mel Gibson, um, starring, uh, uh, what's his name, Spider-Man, um, yeah, Andrew Garfield as uh, Desmond Dawes, the uh, conscious uh, objector who saved uh, hundreds of lives during World War II. Uh, that is uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Alright guys, moving on. Up next we have uh, Halls of Montezuma uh, from uh, 1950 with uh, Richard uh, Widmark. Uh, Jack Plants. Up next we have uh, Hell is for Heroes uh, with uh, Steve McQueen, Bobby Darren, uh, Fess Parker uh, from 1962. Up next we have uh, Hell's Angels uh, from 1930. Uh, Howard Hughes uh, film of course that's, uh, that's uh, portrayed in, uh, in The Aviator. Uh, Martin Scorsese's film with uh, Leo DiCaprio, of course. Uh, this one with uh, Gene Harlow, uh, Ben Lyon, um, James Hall. Yeah, I think Gene Harlow was played by uh, Gwen Stefani in the, in that film as well. Up next, we have Inglorious Bastards, uh, two disc special edition, of course, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Uh, fantastic film uh, from 2009. Brad Pitt, fantastic. Uh, Melanie Laurent. Uh, Christoph Waltz, just a brilliant performance by him. <clears throat> Up next we have uh, Jarhead. Um, really love this film uh, from um, uh, 2005, uh, directed by Sam Mendes. Uh, two disc collectors, collector's edition, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Peter Sarsgaard, Chris Cooper, uh, Jamie Foxx. Fantastic movie, Jarhead. Up next, we have a personal favorite of mine, and that's Kelly's Heroes um, from 1970 with uh, Clint Eastwood and uh, Donald Sutherland, Telly Savalas, um, uh, Carol O'Connor, uh, and the great Don Rickles. Really loved this movie. 
<clears throat> up next we have uh, the longest day uh, from 1962 of course uh, basically uh, the the saving private Ryan of its day absolute classic um, brilliant film uh, all-star cast people like John Wayne um, and a whole host of others Sean Connery's in this as well um, fantastic movie uh, the longest day up next we have uh, MacArthur uh, from 1977 with uh, Gregory Peck um, really good performance by him in that up next we have uh, Memphis Bell uh, from uh, 1990 yeah great film about a uh, World War II uh, bombing crew of course uh, Matthew Modine, Eric Stoltz, um, Billy Zane, Sean Astin, sort of the uh, br <laughs> Brat Pack uh, World War II movie of the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Up next we have uh, Midway from uh, 1976 uh, Collector's Edition with uh, Charlton Heston and uh, Henry Fonda. Um, I also really liked uh, uh, Midway that came out last year with uh, Ed Skrine. Uh, so I'll probably be picking that up on Blu-ray at some point in the near future. Up next we have uh, Mr. Roberts uh, from 1955. Uh, Henry Fonda, Jimmy Cagney, uh, William Powell, and the uh, great Jack Lemmon. Up next we have uh, The Monuments Men uh, from 2014 uh, with uh, George Clooney and Matt Damon, uh, Bill Murray, John Goodman, um, yeah, I like this film a lot. Um, I know it didn't wasn't received very well, but I liked uh, I liked the story of uh, the Monuments Men. Okay, up next we have uh, No Man's Land uh, from 2001, the great film uh, set during uh, the uh, Bosnian War. Um, yeah, really, really great movie, uh, No Man's Land. Up next we have uh, Operation Finale uh, from 2018. Yeah, good film uh, with uh, Oscar Isaac and uh, Ben Kingsley about the uh, the capture of uh, Adolf Eichmann uh, following World War II. Let's put that back in my place. Up next, we have uh, Operation Pacific uh, from 1951, uh, John Wayne and uh, Patricia Neal. Up next we have Overlord, um, yeah, again from 2018, really enjoyed this, good mix of like World War II and, uh, and horror uh, elements, um, I really enjoyed it, I thought it was a blast from uh, start to finish. Up next we have uh, The Patriot, um, extended cut from 2000s, um, yeah, great film with uh, Mel Gibson, uh, Heath Ledger, um, uh, Chris Isaac. Um, yeah, fantastic film, uh, The Patriot. Up next, we have uh, Patton uh, from 1970. Uh, of course, George C. Scott and Carl Malden. One of the films I watched during my 24-hour uh, movie marathon a month or two ago. Fantastic film. Up next, we have uh, Pearl Harbor, a uh, Vista series, uh, the director's cut for this set. Really nice edition, um, of course, uh, directed by Michael Bay uh, from 2001, Ben Affleck and Josh Hartnett, the always lovely Kate Beckinsale. I know this film got shit on <laughs> a lot, but I, th I think it's great, and the, uh, the, the Pearl Harbor scenes, the attack on Pearl Harbor, um, those are all just fantastic uh, in Pearl Harbor. Alright guys, moving on. Up next we have uh, Platoon, a special edition. Of course, Oliver Stone's uh, masterpiece, in my opinion, uh, from 1986. Uh, my all-time favorite Vietnam War film. Um, yeah, Tom Berenger and Willem Dafoe. Uh, Charlie Sheen, just a fantastic film. I absolutely love Platoon. Up next we have uh, Pork Chop Hill uh, from 1959 with uh, Gregory Peck. Up next we have Red Dawn, Collector's Edition. I uh, love this film from uh, 1984, of course, with uh, Patrick Swayze, C. Thomas Howell, uh, Leia Thompson, Jennifer Grey, Charlie Sheen. Just a fantastic movie. And I also got the uh, 2012 uh, remake with uh, Chris Hemsworth. Uh, Josh Peck, Josh uh, Hutcherson, uh, Adrian uh, Palicki, 
Um, I didn't love it, but uh, it was perfectly fine. The original is much better. Up next, we have uh, One Silent, One Deep uh, from 1958, I believe, with uh, Clark Gable and uh, Burt Lancaster. Another good uh, submarine World War II film. Up next, we have uh, The Sand Pebbles from uh, 1966 with uh, Steve McQueen, Richard Attenborough, uh, Richard Crenna, uh, Candace Bergen. Up next, we have uh, Sands of Iwo Jima um, from 1949, great uh, John Wayne film. Up next, we have Saving Private Ryan, um, of course, uh, from 1998, uh, Steven Spielberg, just brilliant film, Tom Hanks, um, Matt Damon, uh, Edward Burns, Tom Sizemore. Um, yeah, I love Saving Private Ryan. The first 20 minutes are some of the best ever uh, put on film. Up next, we have uh, Sergeant York, uh, two disc special edition from uh, 1941 with uh, Gary Cooper. Terrific uh, performance by him in that. Up next, we have uh, Sink the Bismarck uh, from 1960, I believe, with uh, Kenneth Moore and Dana Winter. Yeah, great film about the. Uh, the great German uh, battleship, directed by Louis uh, Gilbert. Um, up next, we have uh, So Proudly We Hail um, from uh, 1943 with uh, Claudette Colbert, uh, Paulette Goddard, and uh, Veronica Lake. A uh, terrific film about women during uh, World War II. Up next, we have uh, Stalag 17, special uh, collector's edition. Fantastic film from uh, 1953. William Holden, great performance by him. Uh, Don Taylor and uh, Otto Preminger. Um, one of my uh, favorite films, directed by uh, Billy Wilder, uh, Stalag 17. Up next, we have uh, They Were Expendable, um, another great John Wayne film. Uh, also with uh, Robert Montgomery from uh, 1945. Up next we have uh, 30 Seconds Over Tokyo from uh, 1944 with uh, Van Johnson, Robert Walker, Spencer Tracy. Yeah, great film about the uh, Doolittle Raids uh, following uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor. Up next we have uh, David O. Russell's uh, Three Kings uh, from 1999. Fantastic film. Absolutely love this movie uh, with uh, George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, and Ice Cube. One of the great movies made about the uh, uh, Iraqi war, or at least the first one anyway. Up next we have uh, Tigerland. Um, really good uh, film by Joel Schumacher. Uh, Schumacher, sorry. Uh, from 2000 with uh, Colin Farrell, one of the uh, first first things I saw him in, uh, Tigerland. Up next we have uh, To Hell and Back uh, from 1955, I believe, with uh, Audie Murphy. Up next we have uh, Tora Tora Tora, a fantastic film, of course, about uh, Pearl Harbor, uh, a scene from both sides, the Japanese and Americans. Uh, from 1972 disc special edition. Up next we have uh, 12 O'Clock High uh, from 1949. Fantastic performance by uh, Gregory Peck in this film. Um, yeah, you can see I got a lot of these cinema classics uh, collection editions of uh, some of these films. Up next we have uh, U571. Uh, not a great film, but I enjoy it. Uh, with uh, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Harvey Keitel, um, uh, Bill uh, Paxton from um, 2000, I believe. Um, yeah, I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. I, lo I love submarine films, um, and especially during uh, World, World War II. All right, guys, moving on down. Up next, we have uh, Unbroken uh, from uh, 2014. Yeah, good, uh, good film uh, directed by uh, Angelina Jolie uh, that I liked a lot. Up next we have uh, Valkyrie uh, from um, uh, 2008, two disc uh, special edition, um, Yeah, directed by Brian Singer, starring uh, Tom Cruise, uh, Tom Wilkinson, um, yeah really good film, I like I this film a lot. Up 
up next we have uh, Vaughn Ryan's Express uh, from 1965 with uh, Frank Sinatra and uh, Trevor Howard. Up next we have uh, Wake Island uh, from 1942. I believe this is the first film ever uh, uh, produced about World War II because uh, it came out during the war and I think that's its claim to fame. It was the first first movie about World War II. Uh, up next we have War Horse uh, from 2011. Uh, yeah, directed by uh, Steven Spielberg. I really enjoyed this film. I think the music uh, by John Williams is great. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Up next we have uh, We Were Soldiers um, from uh, 2002 starring uh, Mel Gibson, a terrific uh, Vietnam War films. I put it up there with uh, some of the greats like uh, Apocalypse Now, The Deer Hunter, Platoon, Full Metal Jacket. I put it like right behind those those top four. Up next we have Where Eagles Dare uh, from 1969, a fantastic movie. I love this film with uh, Richard Burton and Clint Eastwood, uh, Mary Uri. Um, yeah, I've been to the castle in Austria where it was uh, filmed. Um, so that that was my first exposure uh, to this film back in 1990, I believe, or 91 was when I visited that castle. And that's where I first, first heard about this movie. And ever since I've watched it, I just love this film. Up next, we have uh, The Wild Geese uh, from 1978, uh, 30th anniversary edition with uh, Richard Burton, Roger Moore, Richard Harris, uh, Hardy Krueger. And last but not least, uh, we have Wind Talkers. Um, yeah, really good film by uh, John Woo from uh, 2002 uh, with uh, Nicolas Cage, uh, director's cut about the uh, Navajo uh, Indians uh, using their language to avoid being uh, caught um, with the uh, crow breakers during uh, uh, Pacific operations of uh, World War II. Really underrated film, actually. I like Wind Talkers a lot. Um, okay, so that is the war section. Pretty long uh, for one video. Um, I probably should have broken it up into two. Uh, but up next will be uh, Westerns. Um, again, that'll be one video, a little bit shorter than war films. I don't have as many westerns as uh, war movies. But uh, thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see you.